Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is a bit of a haul. Um, as a lot of you know, I was saving up for a console and then I luckily... Yeah. I luckily got one and I had a bit of money spare to, I guess, go shopping and go mad. So I did. I bought quite a few things. It's not, okay, it's not a lot. But I spent a lot of money on singular items rather than a lot of money on a lot of items. So to me it's a lot because I paid a lot for one of these items, which is more than I pay for like a singular thing. Anyway, I'm just going to get straight into it. I've got some clothes, some makeup, just some stuff. And I thought I would show you guys what I got because I thought why not. But yeah, let's get straight into it. So I first got some pretty little thing. Actually, let's go in my boohoo item. Now it's a bit crinkled because I've had it in a bag for quite a while. But I bought myself a denim <laughs> jacket. It's a little bit big, but it is. it was the smallest size. So I've got some small from Boohoo and it's really, really nice. This is what I spent the most money on, guys, by the way. This was my most expensive purchase of clothing I think I've ever bought. But yeah, it's just this denim jacket and it's really, really nice. I love it. I've always wanted a denim jacket because I think it would be cool for like... I'm not a night out person, but if I'm going to like a restaurant or something, I thought, you know, it would be cool to like turn up in or I could have it just over my shoulders and not actually wear it properly. I don't know. There's so many different ways I can wear it. But yeah, this was the first piece that I wanted for the outfit and just, you know, for normal. And this was like 20 pounds, which for me is a lot of money because I don't actually spend that much money on one item. So yeah, I got myself a denim jacket. And then I went on to Pretty Little Thing to get the next part of my outfit. I was gonna get mum jeans and then I decided not to get mum jeans for Pretty Little Thing. Um, but you will see in here that I did get some mum jeans. Maybe not the ones that go with my outfit, but I did get some mum jeans. But yeah, so yeah, I went on to a little thing and I bought a white corset top. It's still in the bag because I've been keeping everything here just so I can show you guys. I haven't actually put any of this away. Uh, but the next thing I bought, which I've been really loud about, <laughs> is I got this just really nice white corset top. It's satin and it's shiny and it is everything. <laughs> I mean, you'll probably see this on my Instagram at some point because there's no doubt I'm going to take a picture whenever I'm wearing this. But I just thought that this would look really cool with my denim jacket. Like, think, this underneath my denim jacket I think would look really nice. Um, so yeah, this was actually quite cheap because I got it on sale and it's really nice. Um, I saw, oh, who is it? She's called, I can't remember if she's called Ellie Hinch or if she's called Ellie Hinchcliffe, but I saw her, um, that's really bad because I watch all of her YouTube videos. Anyway, I saw she had this and she was on her birthday and I really, really wanted it, but then she said, that it was too big because her best friend bought it for her she said it was too big and I was like oh no I don't want to buy it in case it's too big for me but this is a decent size I mean I got it in it was either an 8 or a small can't quite remember actually I'm saying here I'll get an 8 so I was either going to get an 8 or a 6 I mean I could have done with a 6 but an 8 will do so I wouldn't be sending it back but yeah I, I'm, I'm, I love this I mean what else can I say about it I love it this then leads on to what I was just talking about. I went into New Look because I thought I'm gonna buy some mum jeans from New Look. And I actually stumbled across, oh, they're, I've, I've worn these, so I'm <laughs> not zipped up. But I stumbled across these, like, I don't know if they're called tapered, I'm not, I'm not quite sure, but. I stumbled across these mum jeans, you can't really see because of the buttons, but um, they're called the Dana mum jeans. I mean, they cinch you in at the waist and then they're just quite long and then they're, you know, you can roll them up at the bottom. Um, so instead of getting some normal mom jeans, like the ones I have that have rips in, I decided to get these instead. I mean, they are quite nice. I mean, I've decided that with my outfit, so with the denim jacket and the white corset, it doesn't go amazingly, but it doesn't mean I don't love these. I do absolutely love these. I love that they sit you in at the waist. It's like my favorite part about these. Um, but yeah, I got these from New Look. I don't know. I never really shop in New Look anymore. New, New Look used to be like one of my favourite places to shop. And then obviously we had lockdowns and I didn't go there anymore. And then I fell in love with Pretty Little Thing. But I mean, I thought I'd try my luck in New Look. And I found some mum jeans that I really liked. So I got them. Yeah, it was all I got. And then after I went into New Look, I went and I walked into TK Maxx. Not thinking I was going to buy anything. I thought, okay, <laughs> New Look, that's cool. 
Um, I didn't actually buy those jeans. My mum bought me those jeans. But <laughs> I went into TK Maxx not thinking I was going to want anything or buy anything. And then my mum picked up this jacket for herself. I'd just like to point out. It also is creased. Don't look at that. It's been in a bag. Um, but she picked up this jacket for herself. This does cinch in at the waist because there's a little tie. Um, but she picked this jacket up for herself. And she really liked it. And then I fell in love with it. And then she didn't actually like it on herself anymore. So I, I ended up, I ended up getting it. I mean, it, it's something that I think is really nice. Obviously, it makes me look a bit more grown up. Um, but I really think this would look cute with my, uh, what are they? With my biker shorts and a like a white crop top. I think would look really cool with this jacket. Um, it is from a Villa, but it's also from TK Maxx. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I bought this and it, I love it. It's another more expensive purchase. Actually, the same with the mom jeans, but I just really, really wanted it. So, so obviously, the first place I went to was Pretty Little Thing. Um, and I found these really cute nails. I'm not sure if you can really see. Um, but yeah, I found these really cute nails. I've actually worn some of them already. Um, but you can still see what they look like because they released a new set of nails out and I really wanted to try them. They're just false nails. I'm not really used to false nails. I don't really wear them. I don't like really long nails. So these are quite nice because they're long, but they're not, they're not really long. So I got these, they're only five pounds. Actually quite good. It means you don't have to go to the nail salon and I've never been to a nail salon, so yeah. And then the next thing I bought came in this case. And it's these sunglasses I'm wearing right now. I'm not gonna take them off because they're holding my hair in a place and I'm actually not minding. But yeah, I got a new pair of sunglasses because I did, I think in my other haul, I said that I bought sunglasses. But someone mentioned that they make my nose look really big, so I decided I need a new pair because I don't want my nose looking really long because it's got a little cut out here, so it makes your nose look really, really long. So I got a new pair of sunglasses. This is another inspiration from Ellie, who does YouTube. She had these clips in her hair. Actually, so did Ellie and Erin, Erin Bauer. They were doing a like makeup video, and they had these clips in their hair to keep their hair away from their makeup hair from the face to do their makeup and I've had so many issues with when I sometimes I put bobby pins but you just lose bobby pins they're so hard to find um and I always have issues that I always get my hair and my like foundation when I'm doing my foundation and my hair always gets in my way and it really annoys me so I went and I, I went on every single website to find these hair clips and I found them on Amazon they probably didn't buy them from Amazon they probably bought them from somewhere more expensive but I found them on Amazon and it's just these little like I can't see them, but they're like these makeup, they're like hair salon, makeup salon clips. Um, so basically, I'll show you an example, but let me put pink in. So I've got pink white, pink, white, and black. You just basically put them in your hair like that, and then they look really cute when you're doing your makeup. Um, so I'm going to use this a lot when I'm on TikTok doing my makeup, because I do tend to, most of the time when I'm on TikTok lives, doing my makeup. Oh, I just thought they would come in really handy and it's just so easy to put your hair away from your face. Like I can just easily do my makeup now. I love them. I'm so glad I bought these and they weren't that expensive on Amazon to be fair. Yeah, you get a bunch. Yeah, you just get a bunch of these clips. Um, excuse my nails. Maybe don't look at my nails. I took those false nails off and now my nails are horrible. Yeah, I just got some of these clips and they're gonna come in so handy. And then I did a little order on Superdrug. I don't tend to buy myself makeup. Um, I kind of used to, I used to always buy myself makeup and then I kind of stopped and then I moved over to buying clothes all the time. So I decided I was gonna buy myself a few makeup bits. Not like a lot, I had like a tiny little budget. Um, so I got myself a few things. The, the, my only thing is the blush didn't turn up so they're resending me my blusher, but I did order a blusher. Because I have a little video idea in mind that I want to do. Because I don't wear blusher, so I guess that's a hint to my <laughs> video idea. But I bought a few other things that I wanted to try out. The first thing I got was just a... Let's that on here. The first thing I got was just a 2-in-1 cleanser and toner by Nivea. Um, you can't really see, I don't know what I showed you. But I just got this because I recently found my... It's an electrical face washer thingy. <laughs> don't know what it's called. I got given it for Christmas like years and years ago, but I recently found it again, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy a cleanser slash toner so I can clean my face more often than using makeup wipes, because makeup wipes actually aren't good for your skin. They make me break out more 
than if I was to just leave my makeup on my face, which doesn't make sense, I know. But yeah, I just got that, it was on sale, so. And then the next thing I saw, which I think is really cool, I might put this on after this video because I'm getting a bit too hot, it's a Rose Soothing Glow Mist. Look how pretty this bottle is, like, it's so cute. It, oh, it kind of matches my top. Um, but yeah, it's just a rose water hydrating, refreshing, soothing spray. You can put it, I think you can put it on top of your makeup or under your makeup. I'm not quite too sure about that. But it says you can use any time of the day, which I'm guessing means I can put it over my makeup, so I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this later. After this video, 100%. But I just really wanted to try this out. And I just think the bottle's really, really cute. So, yeah. I got this try out. And then, another thing I wanted to try out. This is a Flawless Matte Foundation by B. Um, it's in a darker colour though, but I think I got it in the wrong shade. I wanted to use this as a bronzer. Because I see so many people using a uh, cream bronzer. And I wanted to try it out. Cause I use powder, but I think I got the wrong shade. Because when I opened it and when I tried it on my hand, it looks more like a tanned... It looks more like an orangey tan colour than it does look like um, a bronze. So I think I definitely messed up on that. And I probably should have ordered that in... I mean, bought it in a store and not ordered it online. So it's probably a dumb idea. But, I mean, I'm still going to try it out anyway. It wasn't... It was £2. Can we just talk about this? Being £2. Like... I thought it was going to come in a little tiny tube, because it's like £2, isn't it, way. Yeah. And then, last but not least, I got myself the Collection Lasting Perfection Sheer Loose Powder. Um, the Collection Lasting Perfection concealer is actually really good. So, I mean, if you don't have that much money, or you have like a tiny budget, and you need a really good concealer, get the Collection Lasting Perfection, because I'm telling you, it's actually really good for the price it is. But yeah, I got a sheer loose powder because I don't actually own one. And I've been using my normal powder and rubbing my beauty blender in it and like dabbing it on my face. So having a loose powder is actually going to make my life so much easier. Um, but yeah, that is everything that I have bought. I mean, actually, I said it wasn't a lot. Looking at it by me right now, it actually is quite a lot. Um, but yeah, I kind of... I went out and I was like, I want to buy myself a few things. I've been saving for a while, so I was like, okay, I'm going to buy myself a few things. Um, the rest of my money has gone towards Sims packs, to be honest. I mean, I spent a lot of money on Sims packs, let's not talk about it. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed watching what I've bought. I mean, you'll see a bunch of the outfits on Instagram, TikTok, I mean, wherever. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you have a lovely day, a lovely evening, a lovely week, a lovely weekend. And I will see you guys for another video. Bye guys.